Hi everyone, hope you're having a great day. Coming at you with a video on multi-app use. I've been getting a lot of questions on Facebook and in general in the comments here. How I run multi-apps. I run DoorDash, Postmates, and GrubHub simultaneously. So watch this video for tips, tricks, and reason why you should do certain things. Hope this helps a lot of you out there. I'm already logged into all three apps here. At the top, there's a notification coming through for Grubhub. Since it's the first one, no others, I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. Notification up top now for DoorDash. I have 20 seconds on DoorDash, so I'm gonna check this one out real quick. Too far, too little, reject. Moving back over to that DoorDash, as I only have 20 seconds initially to see that before it's gonna send it to somebody else. And then it adds 65 seconds, as you'll see right here. Flip it on there, you'll see the 20 seconds right here. Then, an additional 65, again, for 85 seconds altogether. This is the second most time that you have. Grubhub, you have 90 seconds. That offer, I didn't want. Wasn't one I'm gonna take on DoorDash. I take very few on DoorDash, actually. Back over to Postmates. This one you only have 25 seconds on. Also, if you don't have this screen up front, sometimes it will say order unavailable by the time you get to this one as it kicks it to somebody else, giving priority to those that have the screen open up front. So, Postmates up front, then you flip to whichever one's next. Order coming through, only one item, the drop-off's way too far away. I'm not gonna gamble and risk it for the kind of tips that you get sometimes on Postmates. Ha, <laughs> or lack thereof. Here's a different day, this is Lunch Rush, I'm already logged into Postmates, logging into DoorDash, $1.50 extra delivery, I'm not scheduled. I'm just going to Dash in a late available spot. You see I was on the border of two different areas. Delivery up top in the notification for Postmates. Flip it over there fast enough. Too far for the pickup on that one. Skip it. Notification up top for DoorDash order. Gonna go check this one out. That initial screen of 20 seconds, then flip to 85 if you get there immediately. But 85 altogether. Nine items. Relatively shorter distance in relation to the guarantee. I'm pretty sure that's gonna pay out higher. I'm also already scheduled for a block in Grubhub. You can see there, I have that, waiting for the offers. Notification up top just came through telling me that another DoorDash order was basically gonna be stacked. So now I'm gonna go ahead and accept that one, knowing that one was stacked on top of there, giving me an extra sense of security to make a decent amount in case that one didn't pay out higher. So plus $6 on this one, and drop it off up in the similar area. Plus that extra $1.50 for each delivery for that lunchtime promotion. Grubhub's gonna stay open, it's a scheduled block. Flipping over to Postmates, I'm gonna go offline and go ahead and take this app off my phone so that way it's not gonna bog it down. Don't pay no mind to that promotion because I definitely don't. Then I'm gonna flip back over to DoorDash to complete those orders. Boom! 16.32. Over $10 more than the guarantee. I was pretty sure it was gonna pay out at least double, but man, that's sweet. Then of course, there's that six bucks. They slide those in there so you accept them sometimes. Here I wanna immediately pause the dash as soon as I drop off that other one so I don't get any orders in. Then I can go in and end the dash. If I do it the other way around, you try to end a dash, orders can still come through and disrupt everything. 25, 32 all together for those two dashes. Here's that promotion. It was an extra $1.50 in this area. The 85% I nailed it since I only did two. There's the initial screen on the one, the nine items that I saw for 593 and at 4.1 miles. There's the plus six, the two item, which they love to add to make sure that it gets accepted because sometimes it won't at all based on it being a lower amount and too far. Here's that 2532 for those two. Again, I ended that dash before any other orders came through. That way I could make sure that I hit 100% and get paid the extra three. Just before that was even done, a sweet Grubhub offer came through. It's taking me all the way back to where I wanna be paid. Here I am. It was literally 50 yards from the drop off the other to the next building to pick up this order. It was awesome. And that's me running multi-apps in a couple different situations. Now I started off with one app and platform, Postmates. I got really good familiar with that one before I added DoorDash. 
Then soon after, I added Grubhub. Having all three is very important. You don't want to have all your eggs in one basket. Think of it like fishing. When I have more lines in the water with different baits, I have more chance to not only catch more fish, but better quality fish. I want the big ones. <laughs> but yes, also, when it's slow, one is always going off. I've noticed that when one or the other just isn't hitting, one of them is. Very helpful. Especially when it comes to being successful, right? In a time like now where it's summertime and there isn't as much demand, you wanna have as many apps as possible, but that you can control. That acronym, KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. I remind myself of that one every day. So start off at one, then increase to two, and three or four if you're comfortable. If you enjoy this video and it was helpful, or if you drive for Postmates, Grubhub, DoorDash, or even Uber and Lyft, I have a lot of experience with rideshare and we'll be posting videos on that. You should subscribe to this channel. Click the link up top to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. So that way you know when the next videos come out. Again, I hope this was helpful and everyone have a great day. Time to work. Jingle, jingle. Thank you.